Hey, this is Notzer, and this is the user replay of the week. Ray Koku is in the Tier 4 US Destroyer, Clemson. We're on the map New Dawn. If you're interested in sharing your replay, please send it to notzerreplay at gmail.com. Please have the replay file, in-score screenshots, one to two sentence summary, and please, please, don't put it in zip files. Don't put it in Photoshop files. I use Gmail because it allows me to preview the files themselves when you attach them to the email. You make it as clean and as optimized as possible. You're going to have a higher chance of me picking it because it's just so easy to preview it with the correct information. Don't be afraid to include the ship name in the title. That's pretty useful too. And if you can't get a crazy game, share a crazy moment. Just include the time that the moment occurs in the email so I don't have to go searching for it. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate all the support. Good luck to those of the future who submit a replay. It's always entertaining to see them, even if I don't share all of them. Ray Koku, or Ray, as it's probably going to be for the rest of the match, because it's just really easy to shorten it that quick. Ray is moving forward into the enemy fleet. Couple cruisers, couple battleships. Friendly aircraft carrier is sending torpedoes towards an enemy battleship, an enemy Kawachi. And it looks like the Kawachi's not maneuvering at all. Well, he's probably going to die. Or at the very least, take significant torpedo damage. Enemy St. Louis is moving into range. Ray opening up on him. Notice something that's not on the screen that is pretty much always on the screen. Situation awareness. Now, I don't know what build Ray has gone, but I can't believe... A destroyer would not have situation awareness. Now, Ray chooses to use smoke, hiding in the smoke, firing on the St. Louis. That's all well and good. But how does he know he's spotted? These are things that you have to ask. The St. Louis is moving closer and closer, almost in range of the torpedoes. Unfortunately, the location that the torpedo indicator is suggesting will not be possible unless he moves his ship. Now the St. Louis drops off detection. Friendly that was scouting it is no longer scouting the St. Louis, but an ally picks it back up. At least that's what I assume. I go off of the situation awareness indicator. It tells you so much information. So it's really weird to not have it. Ray, of course, has to move out of the smoke and is engaging the St. Louis as he's retreating. For some reason, the St. Louis hasn't fired. I don't know what the St. Louis is doing. I would obviously fire on a target that was threatening my ship. 7.5 kilometers, you definitely have range. No doubt about it, you have range. Instead, he's firing forward, or at least secondaries. I don't even remember if it has secondaries. Torpedoes fall short. He does set the St. Louis on fire, though. And we know that the St. Louis had to use damage control previously. So he will burn for a while. But it's not looking good. In the immediate... Oh, not looking good at all. The immediate part of this match. Five friendly ships already defeated. Two battleships, two cruisers, and a destroyer. It's just not good, right? If you could get the St. Louis, that would help the team. They are getting dangerously close to losing by having zero points as a team. And that would be really bad. Those are those losses where you're like, man, did we even show up to play? Enemy St. Louis is moving forward. Both Ray and his ally, who happens to be in the Carl. You poor, poor, innocent soul, you. I feel so bad for his friend. Who's going to get the kill? I always love to do this with my friend. Oh, Ray gets the kill somehow, even though the Carl lands his shot first on the target. Now, Ray's team, down 6-2 to two right now. They've got a chance. they got like, so you're telling me there's a chance, chance. But there's a chance, okay? If you can just stall the death of your team, maybe you can pick off one or two enemies. Although, the friendly Carl looks to be the interest of the enemy aircraft carrier. This Wix is between a rock and a hard place. 
He's either going to die to Ray, or he's probably going to die to the torpedo systems. At least that's what I thought. But it doesn't look like the torpedo systems want to be used. It doesn't look like... Oh, crap. Be careful. Okay. Whew. Oh, by the way, Ray is rocking the Jolly Roger flag. Rank one, baby. So Ray has a general idea of how to play the game correctly. <laughs> It looks like Ray is trying to go after that Wix. I don't blame him. It looks like a lot of the enemy destroyers want to take out the friendly aircraft carriers. Notice there's one on the aircraft carriers right now. The Soviet destroyer takes out a friendly. The Wix last was seen headed north. If he could take out the Wix, maybe he could take out that Soviet destroyer. Maybe he could take out the destroyer harassing the friendly aircraft carriers. And this Wix, out in the open, caught with his pants down. This is really bad. Oh, first shot, takes out propulsion, forces out damage control. He pops a smoke, but he doesn't get it out of time. He wanted to send torpedoes instead. Interesting. I hope the smoke was on cooldown because you should have used it the second you were spotted. But I mean, we all make mistakes. That was just a huge mistake that cost you your ship. But we all make mistakes, don't we? One friendly aircraft carrier down. Only one more left. This is just looking awful, right? Every single kill they get, the enemy answers. They have not moved up. From the 190 point mark, it's been around that area for most of the game. Ray is hunting down that Soviet destroyer. We saw it was very low. Perfect time. Oh, here he is. He shows back up. Stop typing. Okay, okay. He was typing. He gets attention. He fires on the enemy destroyer. And he takes him out. The enemy tried to pop his smoke. Unsuccessful. Again, if you're in a situation where you just can't take the pressure, you got to pop it immediately. You don't wait for a confirming shot. Good players will land the first shot. 100%. So now there's a South Carolina, a Kawachi. I don't know if that's the Kawachi. Now, that's not the Kawachi that took the torpedo strike. I can see a battleship death very close to that island. But this Kawachi is pretty unhealthy. The enemy destroyer has completed his mission of eliminating the friendly aircraft carriers. And it looks like Ray doesn't care at all. He knows he's spotted. I don't know how. People have not fired on his position. There are way too many battleships that expect someone else to take care of the destroyer. Oh, it's too hard. I can't track him. But you have to deal with these destroyers. You have to be able to take care of yourself. And I know for a fact he has selected this particular ship with the indicator. Unfortunately, the replay doesn't show it. He's setting up a close suicidal attack. Thankfully, the South Carolina basically missed with his front salvos. And Ray's going to leave a nice going away present. He completely destroys a South Carolina onto the Kawachi. Now, the last we saw, the Kawachi was basically right behind this island. There are still two enemy aircraft carriers on the map. I am blown away that they would be searching for anything other than this destroyer that has been killing all other teammates. And here's the Kawachi. And look. The Clemson is one of those unique examples of the U.S. having an advantage. And here come the torpedo attacks. Just as I say, oh, you need to pay attention. They send it. It looks like Ray is not paying attention. You could have avoided it, Ray. Ah. He takes a huge torpedo. But he's able to survive. Doesn't look like it caused flooding. So he can save his damage control for a event that might require it. Uses his front guns and is engaging the enemy Kawachi. Sent out his torpedoes. The Kawachi takes one, takes two, and he's barely alive. Barely alive. And he's going to let him die to the flood dot. Oh, you are evil, Ray. We might call Ray Kaku ruthless. Because for those who don't know, Ray Kaku is Japanese for ruthless. <laughs> So that's where I'm going with the pronunciation. That's where I expect it to exist. It's too convenient that this player would have this name 
and it not be associated with Ruthless. It's perfect. But of course, he earns Crack Unleashed. Now, the game is still in huge doubt. The Friendly Wicks, 500 hit points. Ray only has 2,000. So if these aircraft carriers would just keep their fighters over the destroyers and hunt them down and take them out, the game's going to be over. But for whatever reason, these aircraft carriers are just not quite all there. It should be the fundamental, the most fundamental aspect of being a aircraft carrier captain. You should always use those squadrons to scout it out. Help your team. It's not hurting anyone. The fighter's not doing anything. You already know that that particular destroyer is going to be right there on top of you. I guarantee he's already scouted. Because one of the aircraft carriers is very, very, very close to the wicks. The aircraft kind of disappeared behind that island. That kind of means that they were able to land on the aircraft carrier and are no longer visible. And you can see taking off. So we know that aircraft carrier is right on the western side of that island. Enemy, Dirtski, this is the guy that's taken out both aircraft carriers. Been a huge pain in the team's butt. It's time for payback. He takes a little bit of damage. He does a little bit of damage. This is so close. Who's going to get good damage? Oh, a little bit more chip damage. He chooses to send torpedoes. Is it going to cost him? I think the enemy's also doing the same thing. And he takes him out with a nice, clean salvo. Yep, here are the torpedoes. He protects the base, obviously. And the torpedoes back up. We don't need the torpedoes. Friendly Wix is all over the enemy aircraft carrier. I have no idea if he has secondaries. I assume he doesn't because the Wix was so low, you could just breathe on the ship and take him out. But <laughs> it looks like the Wix. Oh, we see torpedoes in the water. Are they going to make contact with the enemy? Enemy's still alive. Oh, enemy's down. Haha, <laughs> the Wix was able to take out the enemy aircraft carrier. And now these two destroyers have accounted for nine of the 11 kills in the game for their team. Hard carry, super carry from both of these ships, but look how low they are. One little salvo, one decision made by anyone differently could have led to a loss. You gotta take advantage of every single salvo that St. Louis at the very beginning was not engaging as effectively as it probably could. You would prefer to engage the closer target. Whether it's a destroyer or not is irrelevant. It's easier to hit a close target, no matter the class. You know, maybe the battleships. Get one more salvo on Ray. Take Ray out. He is not able to protect their base. They lose. There's so many decisions that really impact games like this. But it's so fun to be a part of them. You got ducking and dodging, getting in scenarios, plus the guy's not running with situation awareness, which is unbelievable, by the way. I can't imagine a build where you would not select situation awareness first for every single class, pretty much. Maybe for aircraft carriers, you skip over it and you come back to it later, but they will even take it because it's just so good. But it's also proof that you don't need to have it in order to be effective as long as you understand the mechanics of the game, take advantage of obvious locations where you would be detected, like popping your smoke if an enemy is training their guns on you. You also want to eliminate low health targets. Ray did a fantastic job of not allowing them the chance to escape both those destroyers and those battleships. Both of those battleships, what were they doing? The South Carolina did engage with the front guns, but the Kawachi looked to not have any interest whatsoever in working on Ray. He just wanted to run away. So it was just a little weird for some of the players, but it's a tier four game. That's what you expect. The decision making, not 100%, but it's such a crazy close game. Why not share it, right? 
a lot of those torpedo dodges were so close. One of them should have been close, but it was not close. He took it, bunk, right on the hole, and luckily he survived. Game would have been gone. That was one mistake, I would say. I believe he had the chance to avoid it. I really do. Knowing the agility of destroyers, you can definitely turn in and avoid a torpedo launched by an aircraft at that sort of range and speed. Now, something entertaining to me, they're talking about how they're going to attack the enemy aircraft carrier. Just pincer and destroy. Don't show any mercy. Use your torpedoes. <laughs> it's like, um, I think we can take it. I don't think we're going to have a real issue with this particular ship. It would be terrible to lose the destroyers like this to the aircraft carrier. So it's, it's okay. You always want to be prepared. Now, he sends them at the indicator. Probably going to use his main guns because that is the bread and butter of the U.S. destroyer line. Use your torpedoes and your guns. And the first shot takes out propulsion. Just a huge deal. The aircraft carrier would have to use damage control if available, but I don't think it is. Yeah, he's just kind of dead in the water and the torpedoes take out the enemy aircraft carrier. Ray Koku gets seven kills. High caliber, Kraken Unleashed, three devastating strikes, and brings the team back from the brink of defeat to give them a victory. So, fantastic job. Ray earned 1,615 base XP. Stereo Wizard, the Wix, who did a fantastic job. Ten kills between the two, by the way. Also earned a ton of XP. 1,553. Great job. Ray Koku did around 100,000 points of damage. Fantastic job. Great carry of your team. These are the kind of games I love seeing when a player rises up with the help of the Wix to defeat a foe with a huge advantage. I really enjoyed seeing the Clemson in a dominating manner. I have great memories of this ship. We'll have to buy it again, especially for the U.S. Destroyer Overview that is due. So much work to do. But I hope everyone enjoyed this game. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.